Hey, uh, today, what is, uh, writing in the 21st century? So, before I answer that question, let's take it back a little bit. Um, let's look at what's writing in the 18th century versus what's writing in the 21st century. So, 1700s, you know, bam, around the same time of the Golden Age, where science was getting most of the attention and, you know, religion was like, going down a little but but it's still up right now. So um the difference between writing eighteenth century I'm sorry, seventeenth century oh, fuck, no ah, why is this happening? Sixteenth is this eighteenth century is nineteen hundred. No it's not. Goes up one. Seventeenth century is eighteen hundred. I don't know why they do that. Like uh, why is this the 21st century? It's 2000. This must be the 20th century. It has nothing to do with the date. Let's, I'm not talking about that. Okay, so back then, um, they used bigger words than us, right? Um, but we still use big words now. But the only time you will see somebody use a big word is if they're either a professor or a teacher, and if they're a student. They might just use a big word just to show off a, their vocabulary. And to me, their ethos is like, hey, I can use a big word, and you can't. And then they just try to show off, like, to me, like, when somebody talks to me, and uh, they say a big word, and they can say a small word, I'm like, why you, why did you say that word? That was totally unnecessary. And, I mean, I'm not against big words, but the only time I will use a big word is if I'm trying to convey a different meaning. Or um, the the words in my regular vocabulary can't can't uh, speak what I'm trying to say, and that's why I'm probably going to a different uh, word, different bigger word. Let's say the word shy between shy and anxious, totally different meanings, but basically means the same thing. I mean, yeah. So we can either call this person anxious, or have anxiety, or shy. And shy goes with anxiety. Anxiety. Another thing is uh, circulation. Um, our we can get information out way quicker than they could back then. What they had, like the printer press, and they had what mail, and that was like late 1700s, close to 1800s, and the mail took days. I think it was on a horse. So, <laughs> whoo, a cross country with a horse. So, um, yeah, it took days for them to get their stuff, but it, it takes us. Instantly, just like that, and we have different affordances, and that that makes us have different affordances, affordances than between the 18th century and the 21st century. I mean, we use what we can, and the internet helped us out a lot. Um, another thing is, let's see, big words. I did say big words. Yeah, big words. Oh. Alphabetic text, or you could say mode. Uh, back then, they used cursive way more than we do. Right now, we use um, just print, right? Like we just print our words, especially students, but teachers and professors. That's a different story. And um, and the only time I will probably use cursive is if I'm signing my, if I'm doing a signature. So, because I mean, like back then in the 1700s, the cursive was like. It was amazing. <laughs> Sorry, it was it was like good, and because they, they, I guess they really focused on cursive back then, but now we don't. Because I, I mean, like, why is cursive a thing anyway? I mean, other than writing your signature, what's the whole point of it? Because each person has a different different style of cursive. Not everybody has the same cursive, so it's kind of hard to decipher what is this, what is that, what is this, and what is that. So, because a person's L could look like a B. I don't know why they had the L and the B so similar. I don't whatever. Um, another thing. Uh, well, yeah, really, that's that's the difference. And so let's go back to the original question: What is writing in the 21st century? Well, I believe writing in the 21st century is about creativity. Like we have way more creative freedom than they did in the 18th century. So, like in the 21st century, it's all about creativity. Because we get we have all these modes of writing, like from video to letters, <laughs> to letters to like uh, boards. I'm pretty sure I had that stuff back then, but we have way more. 
and we have freaking uh, planes that can uh, do the thing, uh, flag, there we go, at the back, and we have billboards, I think you do that too, so to me it's about creativity, and I mean once you have, create, once you take away the creativity, what do you have in the 21st century? Just bland writing. Um, <laughs> yeah, just bland writing. So yeah, that's why I believe that uh, it's about creativity, and creativity plays a, like a big part in uh, the writing, the writing in the 21st century. All right, uh, catch you next time.